Okay, okay, by the way, the one I always get asked right. about, and you, you might get asked as well, is people want to know where the passwords are stored in Kali because they've heard about Rock U or they want to do like a brute force attack against, sorry, a, a dictionary attack against a Wi-Fi password or some, uh, something, um, and they want to know where the passwords are stored. Okay, well, one of the things that you can do in Kali to find all of the word lists is go locate word lists, right? And most of the word lists, the password lists, are under their, their labeled word lists. And you can see, well, there's actually Rocky right there. And there's going to be hundreds of word lists in Cali. So one of the, you know, there's, there's an art and there's a science to password cracking. The, the science is the scripts and the tools that we use. The art is going to be selecting or creating the proper password list to use to try to crack a password. And that's something that comes with some experience and not necessarily, it's not something that, you know, that you can just throw a password cracking tool at a particular password or a hash of a password and be successful. Selecting the proper password list is part of the art of doing it properly. Rock U is, um, you know, it's an old list that's been around for a while. What I prefer, other than Rock U, is I've got uh, a couple of lists on Hackers Arise. One of them is the top 10,000 most common passwords and the top 1 million most common passwords. I prefer to use those first. They're more successful. The top 10,000 passwords will cover about 10% of all the possibilities. In other words, what we've done is we've collected those passwords that most commonly appear in the data dumps on the dark web. And there's about 10,000 passwords that get used over and over and over again. And you can imagine what those are, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You know, I, lo I love you. Um, you know, and some some vulgar ones as well, right? And so these passwords, people think, oh, you know, it's, it doesn't really matter what password I use as long as it's a number of characters, what have you. But people, you know, human beings are similar and they think similarly. And they use similar passwords. And so you can go into the dark web, and we've already done this for you, and we've collected those passwords that are most common. So you can simply use our 10,000 password list, and that's going to get you about 10% 10, 10 of all of the passwords used by people around the world. We also have another list of the top 1 million, and that's going to get you about 30 percent of all the passwords. Now, of course, 30% is not 100%, but I always recommend when you're doing password cracking that you start with the simple, okay, start small, okay, start simple, and this probably applies to life in general. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's start simple and then work from simple to more complex. You don't want to be running rock you password list when the password is one, two, three, four, five, six. Right? <laughs> you know, start with a simple small password list. See if it's there. If it's not, keep on getting into larger and more complex passwords. And one of the things that I always run up against is that people will use Rock U and some of these other password lists and they'll say, I couldn't find it. I, I ran it for hours, days, what have you, and I couldn't find the password. And I said, well, what country are you in? <laughs> oh, I am. I'm, I'm, in, I'm in France, right? Well, you're running an English password list in France, right? The, 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 the password's probably not going to be in English. It might be, but it's probably not. So what you need is a French password list. And so, and you can do some searches, do some Google searches and find some French, Spanish, Arabic, whatever language password lists that are out there on the web and use those because these lists, you know, these are made by English speakers and they're probably not going to apply in all countries, especially if nobody speaks English in your country, right? <laughs> now, one of the things interesting we found in, in, in our attacks against Russia is that Russia, we found a lot of systems that had English passwords on them That's because the, it is interesting because we didn't expect that. 
Not at all. And what we presume is that because a lot of the software is coming from English speaking countries, okay, that there's the default passwords are in English. And then for whatever reason, the administrators changed them and used English passwords. It was a surprise for us. So, and yeah, we found lots of systems with English passwords for whatever reason. Not entirely sure why, but we presume it's because in almost every case, the software that was being used was produced in the U.S. or the U.K. And, you know, it, it had everything's in English, right? The whole, all the software is in English. So the administrators put in English passwords in Russia. 